Hello, welcome to Golf FM. This is a test on the Callaway AI Smoke versus the new Callaway AI 200 iron. I've just recently done a test on the AI 200 up against Titleist T200, Ping i530 and TaylorMade P790. So you can check out that video up above if you haven't seen that. But someone asked in the comments, what's the difference between the AI Smoke and the AI 200? So the existing Callaway iron and the new one. So I thought I'd hit a few, show you the numbers and talk about the difference. Differences. So first of all, these two clubs, in theory, I think, could fit a very similar player. The AI 200 Forged is designed to be a player's distance iron. So it's a forged feel with a hollow body. It's the first one they have brought out properly with the lofts to actually match some of the other irons on the market, like the P790. So it's a new one for Callaway. But actually, when you put it up against AI Smoke, in terms of size of head, amount of offset, top line, sole width, it's pretty close actually. The AI Smoke is supposedly a wee bit more forgiving. They both have an AI design face, so it's not supposed to matter really where you hit it on the face. It's been designed by a supercomputer to make it forgiving in the places that most golfers need it. I always put the player's distance irons in the category of somebody who's maybe a wee bit of a lower handicapper, wants something that looks a bit more bladey, feels soft like a blade, but needs the forgiveness and the distance that these things offer. The AI Smoke is almost a direct replacement or rival really for the TaylorMade QI and that sort of iron. So the maximum forgiveness iron in the range. Callaway have almost done it in a slightly different way where they've made it look a little bit more playerish, a little bit lower handicap. And therefore it is actually a decent test to see what they do differently. So loft wise, the forged AI 200 is 30 in the seven iron and the AI smoke is 28. So it's very strong. You've also got an AI smoke, a quarter inch longer shaft and anything with a longer shaft is going to swing a little bit faster and go a little bit further. And the reason they did that was they said, well, we've got every right to do that when this head is as forgiving as it is. You can have a longer shaft, you can hit it anywhere in the face you want, it'll still go straight at the flag. That's a theory anyway. So I want to take these back to back, see what the numbers said, and also talk about feel and looks as well. I also should mention that these clubs are a little bit different in price. So you've got about £1,200 for seven irons in the AI 200, and you've got about £1,000, £999 for the same seven irons in the AI smoke. So 200 pounds of a difference. So it's a similar customer in terms of what they're going to spend and it's a similar customer in terms of potentially how they're going to hit it. But we'll find that out for sure by hitting it and seeing how they go. So in terms of looks, from the back of them, I mean personally I like the Apex AI 200 more. I think it looks more classic, more premium, it looks more expensive, uh, it looks like it's going to last. The AI Smoke looks like it might get a little bit dated in the next few years, you know you're going to, and obviously these models change pretty much on a yearly basis whereas Apex kind of sticks around and looks fairly similar year after year so you're not going to feel like you're getting pressured into changing these just because they look old hat. Whereas AI Smoke is probably going to be superseded next year anyway. Not that that really matters, but it's a fact. And that little coloured in section in the back of the AI Smoke, yeah, you could really like that or you could dislike it. And that might be a reason in itself that you would never go for the AI Smoke and you would always go for the AI 200. So looks really are always up to you. You know, you know what you like and I know what I like and I can't say which is better from that point of view really. But in terms of head size, the AI Smoke does look a little bit bigger, but the sole is almost the same thickness, which is going to mean that they'll react the same way if you hit the ball fat and a wider sole generally tends to guard against hitting the ball fat. These are reasonably narrow soles in terms of golf clubs. They're not ultra narrow like a very small bladed iron but it's also not anywhere near as thick as say the QI or some of the other Ping G430 or something like that where it's a little bit wider in the sole. Again that gives it that slightly better player look. Top line there isn't a lot of difference and I'll do the measurements for the top line. I'm not going to maybe do measurements for the whole thing anymore because I just find it's a little bit too difficult to get the exact same point 
to measure, but I will put some measurements up there on the top line. Top line to me, to the eye, almost looks identical. They both look reasonably thin top lines. Not the thinnest I've ever seen in my life, but thin enough to play with. One of the things that actually stands out, which should be the other way around, is that the AI200, which is supposedly aimed at slightly lower handicaps than the AI Smoke, the Forge one almost has a look of having slightly more offset in this particular iron, the 7 iron, than the AI Smoke does. So offset is supposed to help people that slice the ball. It tends to be higher handicappers that do that most of the time. So you would think AI Smoke would have more offset than the AI 200. But they're not far off the same, but almost the AI 200 looks like it's fr fractionally more. And this is again why I think the AI Smoke crosses a lot of player boundaries. So it's not just your high handicap person that needs all the help in the world. This actually can fit really quite accomplished players because it doesn't have a lot of offset and it has that slightly thinner sole design and just generally a slightly smaller head. It is a little bit bigger overall, but not massively. So not a lot of difference. Where it is different is in the loft, as I mentioned, 28 degrees for the AI Smoke and 30 for the AI200, plus a little bit shorter in the shaft in the AI200. Although that's difficult to notice, to be honest. Right, so I'll hit the AI Smoke first and see how that goes. So when I put it down, it's a nice head shape, this. I could almost use it. You know, it's, it's not overly big. There's not a lot of offset. It's a nice club. That was a good strike. That was a nice shot and that felt really nice out the middle. There's all sorts of technology inside this that's trying its best to feel soft. So despite this being a harder surface, there's bits and pieces inside here deliberately trying to create more of a forged feel because it's cheaper to use this metal and put that stuff in than it is to use a forged metal. It's more expensive and that's why they tend to be £1,200 instead of 1000 Still a lot of money even for these. But that's 180, 196. That's about as far as I've hit it. I've done some figures earlier on today, a good honest batch, which I put together and I'll kind of talk through that. But I just wanted to hit a few here to remind myself about the feel. And that feels seriously good. Really, really good. But that was right out the middle. And most golf clubs feel pretty good out the middle. But you can rest assured if you hit this out the middle, it's going to feel really nice. Another good strike. Oh, oh, robbed. Robbed by Baron Skytrack again. I'm not even hitting that many shots today and it's gone and missed a middled strike. How dare it. Good strike. And it got this one, although it's drifting right. Again, that felt similar. Nice, nice smack out the middle. 178, 193, similar distance. Feels nice. Another decent strike, good shot. Again, felt nice. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the feel of this. It's perfectly acceptable. Right, I'm going to keep this short and sweet because I have done some figures which are perfectly valid, but you can see there, hit three, and they were all good strikes, admittedly. Felt nice and went a certain distance. So let's try the AI200 and talk about the feel and the difference in the performance. So first look with the AI200 when I put it down after the AI smoke is it looks a little bit nicer to me in terms of the finish, that sort of satin, silver. The head looks a little bit smaller. Top line looks about the same. There does look to be slightly more offset. It's not a lot and I could just about live with it, especially if it was performing well. Ideally, I would like virtually none, even though there's an argument to say that I do hit the ball right quite a lot and probably I could do with offset, but I'm not admitting that to myself. I like to look at it with no offset because I do hit it left probably more than I do hit it right. The shot that I hit the least is straight, which is a wee bit of an issue at times. Okay, so yes, looks nice and inviting to hit and a little bit smaller is the main thing. Not far off the same apart from that, just a bit smaller. I also don't notice the slightly shorter shaft. Decent strike, I think. I think I could have flushed it even more than that. Let's see where it goes. Yeah, nice and straight. Felt good, but I think because I didn't get it quite out of the middle, it didn't feel juicy, but it's a fully forged head, this, which is an advantage over some of the other players' distance clubs where they just have a forged face. Again, just to cut down on cost. This is fully forged and so even though it didn't hit that 100%, it still felt like a forged club. Still felt quite soft, not harsh in any way. Again, quite good, but I wouldn't say it was as middled as a couple of those AI smokes I did. It felt good, but I think when I get one out the middle, I'll know all about it. If I get one out the middle, sorry, I should say. Let's qualify that. 
That was more of a nice strike. Pushed it though. I'm going to be able to count that. Yeah, yeah, that, that felt good. Again, these all have felt nice, even though they've not been hit actually as well as the AI smoke was. That was a nice one. That's that forged feel. Fractionally pushed, but the feel was there. Slightly different noise. That's gone quite far than the AI smoke, but not that different. Just put, hit them back to back again. So AI smoke. That was a decent strike, probably an 8 or 9 out of 10. A little bit left again. And that, I could feel, it just didn't feel quite as soft. A slightly harder feel. And then AI 200. And yeah, it's got a slightly different thwack off the club. It's just a little bit softer. A little bit nicer. 200 pounds extra, please. But let's have a look at the figures and see what's going on there. Right, so the figures. So the one at the top is the AI smoke and we've got 118 ball speed as opposed to 116 in the AI 200. 17 degree launch, spin a little bit higher in the AI 200, carry 175 in the AI smoke and 169 in the AI 200. Similar sort of distance, difference in the total distance and then height, sorry, descent angle 42, so it's very similar. So for two degrees different in loft, you could argue that that's all the difference is. So it's not like the AI smoke has got some extra special dynamite in it that makes it go even further than the AI 200. If you made the AI 200 two degrees stronger, it probably would get to these sort of similar figures as the AI smoke. So the AI smoke like for like, if you call a 7 iron a 7 iron and forget about the loft, then yes, it's going a little bit further. What you do have to watch is if you're not a really high spin player, some of these irons won't be quite right for you. I think quite a lot of the time the higher handicapper irons like AI Smoke, they're almost trying to reduce the spin because higher handicappers tend to put a lot of spin on. They come in steep, they come in with the face open and they create a lot of spin. So something that goes out with a wee bit lower spin helps to negate that impact position that they're putting on it but if you're like me then and you're a wee bit lower spinner in terms of you coming in a wee bit shallower then you need to watch that your descent angle still okay and 42 is borderline in terms of that so it's it's okay but it's it's not coming down that sharply but the thing to remember with this is that that's still going a long way i mean that's almost why i used to have my five iron back in the day and i didn't expect my five iron and i still don't to stop dead when it lands now if you're playing in soft inland courses then maybe they will but not out here in the east coast of Scotland where the ball runs on no matter what you're trying to do, unless it's been pouring the rain for day, day after day. And it doesn't tend to do that despite the press that you get about Scotland. The east coast is actually really dry. It's just incredibly windy, which has its own annoyance factor. But at least you're not getting soaked all the time. But what it means is the courses quite often are dry and hard and bouncy and the ball doesn't stop that quick. But I just factor that into my yardage. So I'll look more at the total distance. So if I've got a laser and I get 184 and I'm hitting the AI 200, well then I know that that's roughly going to work because a lot of time you're not forced into a carry either. It's just running up to the green. You're not going over water and that sort of thing. So there is a difference between the two clubs. If you want something which offers the ultimate softness, which is a nice thing in a golf club when it feels soft. Good feedback, you know what's going on, you know if you've hit it or you haven't hit it. The AI 200 is the one to go for. Remember that you're potentially giving up a little bit of distance if you do that. The AI smoke will go a little bit further because of the loft, because it's a little bit quarter inch longer, and it doesn't lose that much in terms of feel when you hit it out of the middle. It's when you don't strike it that you start to remember and, and realize that you're using a cast club. This Callaway AI 200 is one of the softest out of any of the players' distance irons that I've hit. And for this AI smoke to be anywhere near it in terms of when you hit it out of the middle is quite impressive to what they've done to the internals of this to make that cast metal actually feel really quite soft. 
So I'm not going to recommend one or the other. You're probably better to try them yourselves. If you want to save yourselves £200 and end up with a club which goes a little bit further, then go for the AI Smoke. But if you're after feel and you want something that might not date in terms of the model, it's probably going to change at some point in the near future with the AI Smoke, then Apex is your one. So I hope that was helpful. I hope that explains what the two models do. If you've got any questions, put them in the comments and I'll get back to you. And thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.